Hello folks, welcome along to the vlog. I'm in the brewery this morning. We've been doing some casking, uh, sorry, mini kegs for um, off sales in the pub. I'll show you them in a minute anyway. Uh, the reason I've hit record is to give you a little bit of an update and say thank you to everybody who sent code snippets and uh, tried to help out with this can filling machine, which, uh, well, the code is the hardest part, I really did struggle with it. So I'm just, uh, yeah, just wanna say thank you very much for everyone who's helped out on that. Uh, we've already received the code written by four separate people, so I really do appreciate that. Uh, so I just need to wait for the boards to arrive and I can test them. Uh, but what I want to show you after I've shown you these mini kegs is we've decided as the pub is closed, it's a perfect opportunity to get the beer garden sorted out and whilst we can't get access to all the building materials that we want because some of the merchants are closed not all of them mind um, it's a job that is labor intensive but not cash intensive so I think we're gonna we're going to move around you know all that bedding that we put in and get rid of that high bed because the sleepers are rotting away and extend the seating area a touch. So yeah, I've got a laser tape measure somewhere. I was sure I had it in this drawer. Here it is, look. Has it got any batteries in it? Oh yes, you little beauty. So let's take this outside, maybe with a, uh, a piece of paper here and a pencil we'll get Stuart to write some dimensions down with us so we bought four pallets of mini kegs only 120 on each pallet so we got 480 mini kegs which is just enough to seal us empty these three tanks here and what's left in these two tanks and of course we can probably move a little bit of the cask stock and repackage it. We've got some porter and some stout. We could repackage that if uh, if we've got enough minis. These are the ones that we've filled already. Don't get too excited though, folks. This is all for our local customer base. It's gonna be on a first come first served basis um, at the brew shed on Saturday for our off license sales. So we'll be opening around 12 o'clock, I would have thought, until she, uh, she's all gone. Anyway, let's go next door and have a look. I don't know how bad the wind's gonna be on this device. I'm recording on my phone. Oh, Stuart's in here. He's on blower as well, look. So, the idea is all of this section as you can see if I come to the end all this here you can see we've got like four sleepers high just about up here and it's against this wall and the chap who's got this building at the back isn't very pleased because there's rising damp creeping through into his premises and he'd rather see it gone and one of the reasons we decided to attack this project is because these sleepers, whilst we did a repair on them last year, well, they're totally rotten. Some of them are completely rotted out. If you look at the back there, you can see it's all absolutely shagarooed. So the idea is remove the sleepers, lift these slabs, drop the soil to where these slabs were and make it just a, a small step up, you know, maybe eight inches to level all this section out and then slab the rest. That's the plan anyway. So it'll give us a project before before we open back up. I just thought I'd check in and uh, let you know what we're intending on doing. And I may as well show you the lovely canal. Look what everybody's missing out on. It's a shame, isn't it, really? Anyway, we'll see you on the next one, folks. Thank you very much. Cheers. He's doing a bit of planking there, look.